Cheers. Good, eh? Good, yes. Right. Max, lover. Mummy has to go away for a bit. So you're gonna stay with your Auntie Becky, okay? Will you be a good lad for her? Max, you look here. Um, that's the rest of his stuff there. At least all we could carry. Is there anything else, is there? Not that I can think of. Say goodbye to your mummy. Come on. Good night. There's a dinner I said, plate. come on. Got a mouth on you then? Only you can get out as well. We all know the only reason you're here. Well, it's not to see you, that's for sure. Goodbye, sleep well. Liz, I have to say. Are you going? Or not? If he's going, then I'm going and all. No, there's no need for that. Yeah, there is, babe. Liz, you're only mad at Kieran because he's left working here, which we've all got a perfect right to do. Yeah, and I've got a perfect right to decide who comes in my pub and who doesn't. Then you can bar me and all, because I've had a, another offer of a job, which I wasn't going to take, but now I am. Do you know, it'll be such a relief not to have to watch you showing all you've got. Hey! And rubbing yourself up against him every chance you get. What, is that because you wish you were doing it? No. Unlike you, some of us have standards. You are. Most punters come in here and look at you and just think you're a tart. Get out. Go on. Take him with you. Don't worry. I am doing. Come on. Looks like I won't be stopping. Don't come back. Either of you ever. Don't say a word. Not one word. <laughs> what is she doing out there? Who cares? Well, I'm supposed to. Look, if anybody asks, we're just looking after Max while his mum's away. Save the next 20 years. And we don't mention the money. Not to me mum, not to anybody. What money? Exactly. Whoever it is. Norris. Fizz. Not Fizz. The question is, what do they want? To scare us half to death. Yeah, well, they've already done that. But, I mean, we've had the flowers, then the letters. What's going to be next? <sighs> I was only trying to clear the air. Interfering more, right? Why can't you just mind your own business? Hey, what goes on under this roof is my business. Yeah, and I live here as well. You had no right even letting him in. He's just trying to protect his daughter. The guy's a control freak. Anyway, we're not doing anything wrong. He obviously begs to differ. This is nothing to do with you, OK? Hey, don't speak to John like that. Yeah, but take his side. It's not about taking sides, Ches. It's about trying to make this family work. OK. If we're such a family, where's the support? You're supposed to back me up. I always fight tooth and nail for you, Ches, but come on, you're going to have to meet me halfway here. There is no halfway. Katie's my girlfriend. End of story. I'm not giving her up. Not for you, not for a red case dad, and not for anyone. Right, then you're going to have to face the consequences. Like I'm worried. <laughs> that boy! Please tell me this is good practice. <laughs> Any death threats? Sorry? From Owen. Oh, no, it's, um, it's just Bill's. Oh, then we're winning. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be doing this today, Sal. I'm up to my neck. Oh, stop complaining. Well, I'm only staying for one drink afterwards. You leave when I leave and that's final. Now sign that card for little baby Jack. There you go, love. Thank you. It's not very imaginative. Mum, <laughs> you shouldn't give me this, Mum. You'll buy yourself something nice. Thank you. Oh, 
Them boots? From way ahead, are you? A uh, sensible winter coat wouldn't hurt. Oh, yeah, and how about a matching hat and scarf to go with? New slash judge, your little girl is 16. Sensible has left the building. <laughs> I think it's cute. Mm. It's underwear. Oh, you're kidding, right? Oh, don't be such a prude anyway, underwear. It's always essential. Yeah, especially when it's sexy underwear. <laughs> right, it was a free sample, but it didn't fit. It was a bit too small. <laughs> Only a present from you could also qualify as a put-down. Uh, excuse me, check the label. Oh, thank you, sis. Um, <laughs> this is just me then. <laughs> OK, now that is gorgeous. Oh, Sham, that's beautiful. It also cost you a fortune. What was she thinking of? You. <laughs> oh. Jack didn't eat much. Oh, well, he's just excited. Isn't he, mate, eh? It's a big day. Right, this christening lark. First up, there's water involved. You're getting wet, mate. Sorry, comes with the territory. <laughs> hey, but it's not all bad, because you also get godparents today. Yeah, you do. Kevin and Sally. <gasps> What's a godparent? Very good question. Well, imagine life is a car, right? I mean, in our case, it's just a Ford, but it could be a Subaru Impreza or an Audi TT or, and this is my dream motor, a Lancia Integrale. Left hand drive only, but a tool nonetheless. <laughs> Where was I? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, a car, right? So a car has got two kinds of brakes, hasn't it? Yeah, a handbrake and a footbrake. When they're working. Your mum and me. We're the foot brake. I mean, our job is just to keep you safe and, you know, basically keep you going along at the right pace. And as godparents, is a handbrake. They're there to provide extra backup. And when it comes to providing extra backup, kiddo, you couldn't ask for any better than Kevin Webster. Could you? I've seen a ghost. Just me waist slip. Ah, come on. Oh, morning. Hiya. I was, uh, I was just looking for you. Oh, well, now you found me. Hey, I heard about your little falling out with Liz. So much for loyalty. Yeah. Look, uh, about that job. Sorry, I already filled it. Fantastic woman, actually. She's brilliant, funny, sharp as a whip. Right. Well, um. I'm glad. <laughs> so you're okay to start tomorrow then? Are you serious? Oh, I don't know what to say. Well, I was about saying yes this time. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it funny how things work out? What are you on about? Well, Molly and I. I mean, it wasn't long ago that we were hardly on speaking terms and now look at us. It's terrific. I'm telling you now, we're embracing this. That child will want for nothing, not on this side of the street. Whatever Jack needs, will always be there for him. Have you just gone yet? Oh, just look at the time. Shake a leg, Kevin. Oh, you're useless. Oh, look at her. Do you know, it wasn't long ago she couldn't do up her own shoelaces, and now she's doing a dad's tie. Mum! Mm. She's not your little baby anymore, Kev. I am, Dad. Of course I am. I'll be a little baby forever. Oh, I so wish my dad could see this. <laughs> what? That's why you're going to be a wonderful godfather. Hey. Uh, and personally, I think that uh, godparents are just like good caddies. Now, in a golf course, you have. Dad, uh, that's you... all. <gasps> are you? <laughs> oh, can I have a hold? Yeah. <gasps> oh, aren't you just so oh, delicious? Oh. Looks and he's like his cheeks could just eat her and Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Chillax, yeah? He'll be here. Like Kevin makes Jack's Chris. This is a shame. I know, love, but we just got to get through the day. Yeah. See you in there. Claire not able to make it then? Tries convince her, but she's not having it. Oh. Effie's falling apart, Jack. Oh, come on, don't talk like that. You can sort 